Hi there. My name is Terry Austin. I'm a professor who uses Pearson's textbooks and technology to help my students be successful as they learn anatomy and physiology. Pearson asked me to make this short video to help you understand what's available to help you achieve your educational goals in your class. Your professor has chosen Aaron Ammerman's Human Anatomy and Physiology, a textbook that was written with student success in mind. Please take the time to read Module 1.1, How to Succeed in Your Anatomy and Physiology course. This will give you tips and tricks on how to learn anatomy and physiology, as well as how to manage your time and to use the materials to more quickly understand the concepts you're studying in the book. Here's one great example. This book's images often build one upon the other and end with a big picture to sum up complex ideas. A few of them also have a QR code where you can use your smartphone or tablet to get access to videos and instructions further explaining these topics. Neurons receive stimuli from other neurons or from sensory stimuli in the internal or external environments. If the incoming stimuli are significant enough, they depolarize the neuron's trigger zone to threshold and an action potential is generated. This book was written by a professor to help students who study at all times of the day or night, often on their own. She built into the text extra coaching for tough-to-understand or tricky concepts with Concept Boost, like the one you see here, and Study Boost, like this one. In addition to the textbook, there are lots of animations and other help available to you in the self-study area on Mastering AMP. That's the online software built to accompany your textbook. For example, throughout the book, there are icons like the one you see here. These indicate help is available on Mastering AMP. This is really handy in case you're studying for tomorrow's test and can't call your instructor, maybe in the middle of the night, but you still need help. Let me show you how to get the extra help for the figure seen here describing excitation contraction coupling. Over in Mastering AMP, you simply click on the self study area. Now look in the sidebar and open the AMP flicks. Here, this video explains what we were seeing back in the textbook in the figure discussing excitation contraction coupling. A sequence of events that converts action potentials in a muscle fiber to a contraction is known as excitation contraction coupling. If we look at a single muscle fiber, we see that an action potential travels across the entire sarcolemma and is rapidly conducted into the interior of the muscle fiber by structures called trans... Your instructor may have you working in a slightly different version of mastering AMP called modified mastering. There is a little difference in how things are laid out, but the content is exactly the same. To access the study area, in this course, you'll want to click study area in the menu on the left, and then select access the self-study area. From there on, Everything else is exactly the same. You can also pull down the menu for the chapter you're currently studying and find hundreds of practice quizzes, art labeling exercises, and other tools that will help you here in the study area. Also here in the study area, you'll find some very nice videos to help you learn the skeletal system. The cranium is the part of the skull that encloses the brain. It's made up of the frontal bone. which ends at the coronal suture. In this course, you'll probably have a list of anatomical structures your instructor will want you to learn. For this, your very best tool is PAL, the Practice Anatomy Lab. As we open PAL in the study area, you'll see that you have access to a human cadaver, anatomical models, a full set of histology slides, as well as a cat and fetal pig. To see how this works, let's open the anatomical model section and simply enter a structure that you're going to likely have to find in your own class in the search window. Here, I'll search for biceps brachii. We can choose to show or hide the labels. Often structures will have a camera icon. Clicking the icon once, you can hear the name pronounced properly. Biceps brachii. Double-clicking the camera icon will show a brief video explaining the structure. Biceps brachii is the large two-headed flexor muscle located in the anterior compartment of the arm. 
Here in PAL, you can also practice to see what you've learned by taking a quiz where you can practice identifying structures that you're learning, selecting from several possible answers in a multiple choice format. When you feel you're ready, you might want to try a lab practical where you'll have to type in the name properly. This will be great practice as you get ready for your exams. There are many more types of tutorials to help you in mastering AMP. I hope that this introduction has helped you to understand what's available so that you can use these tools to your best advantage as you study anatomy and physiology. If by chance your book did not come with Mastering AMP, please ask your professor, your bookstore, or simply go online to www.masteringamp and get registered today. The best of luck to you.